strongly ask them to support the idea, but don't make it mandatory, and especially don't add a fine to it. That just makes people step back. So there was no reason to make this mandatory and no reason to have a fine. What are we going to have the police go out and start giving out tickets? And since she has an exception, for example, if for some reason you can't wear it for some mental or physical issue and someone says, well, it gives me claustrophobia, what's the police officer say then? It's just take the fine away, please, county judge, and take the mandatory away. Just ask people. People have been really good doing this. Texans have really been good trying to help each other. It's, it's not acceptable to make it mandatory. And at the same time, when you say you're going to close down a hospital that had not one patient and cost $60 million and had people making 10000 a week for doing nothing, it sends a very confusing message. It makes a lot of people angry. We learned that the fine is up to $1,000. Yes. I know in your remark you didn't know the amount. Now that you know $1,000... Does that make it any worse for you, knowing that some Texans could receive a $1,000 fine for this? When I sent out my tweet, I didn't know about the fine. When I saw a press conference, I said, I, I don't believe it. A $1,000 fine? Are you kidding me? I mean, trust the people of Harris County. They're good folks. And most will follow a recommendation. Most want to be safe. So make the recommendation. Ask people to follow you. Don't put down some draconian mandatory issue that you have to wear a mask everywhere. It's just, it's unacceptable. And, and again, I, I appreciate she has a hard job. We all have a hard job. But don't make it tougher on the people and get rid of that fine. That's just, that's just, it's, it's offensive to say you're going to find someone. She made the point that if seatbelts are mandatory and people have to wear seatbelts, people aren't up in arms over that, what would you, what, what's your response to her argument there? That's not even comparing apples to apples. It's not comparing anything. Let me start over there. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, th that's just a bogus uh, analogy. It has nothing to do with seatbelts. Here's what it has to do with. People are already under enough pressure and stress. A lot of people are out of work. A lot of people are draining their bank accounts. And now they're going to have to go around and fear if they don't have a mask on. This, the county's going to fine them up to $1,000. That's just not acceptable. This is a very special time. And this is not something that has had years and years of study like seatbelts had before those decisions were made. She just kind of did this on the fly, the best that I can see. I mean, if she was going to ask for a mask to be mandatory, why wasn't this done at the height of, of, of the breakout in Houston three weeks ago? Why now, when our hospitalizations are down, uh, we've, we've kept the death rate in check and every life is valuable, and they're closing down a hospital, why now? And again, it's just better to ask people. You know, if you're a leader, get people to follow you. You don't tell them to follow you. You get them to follow you. And by doing that, you trust them and say, look, this is what I recommend. Help help out your fellow Texan. And that's what she should have done. And, and this, this just gets people angry when she didn't need to do this. Now, I believe San Antonio and Dallas have something in place there. Did you have the same reaction when those orders went into effect, Lieutenant Governor? I didn't for a couple of reasons. Number one, when they did it, they did it at the height of this issue when there was a lot of unknown out there. Um, so that was number one. Number two, they weren't sending a mixed message of, oh, by the way, we're closing down a hospital because we haven't had a patient, and now we got to ramp up mass. So totally different situations in those two other cities. And quite frankly, you know, this is kind of my hometown. And when I see someone like this do this in my hometown, where I trust my neighbors in Harris County and Montgomery County and all the surrounding areas who have been good, there's no reason that she had to do this in Harris County. Um, it's just, it's just not acceptable. And so I would ask her, I'm trying to be very nice and very fair about it. I would just ask her, judge, just step back and say, look, let this be our strong recommendation and, and surely get rid of the fines. Do you know, could the governor come out with an order and which could supersede her order on this mask? Have you asked him to look into this? Um, do you know if that's something that could be done from the state level that could get rid of this order and fine here in Harris County? Well, in this crisis, you know, what the governor says is, is the last word. But he has, I think, very smartly allowed local control to make these decisions from day one. Uh, but when you make a decision like this that's so draconian and not needed, um, uh, you know, that, that, that's when it gets tougher to leave in the hands of local officials, uh, quite frankly. Just in my view, I'm not speaking for the governor. But we expect, we expect um, the county judges or the mayors, and I know the mayor did make this, he went along with the decision, I don't know if he 
to do this. It wasn't necessary. I go out, I see lots of people wearing masks, and if you just say, over these next weeks, follow me, follow my lead, take our advice, take, and, and I would support that. I would support that, because I support people, you should, for, your, for, for the safety of others and your own health, I recommend that you wear a mask when you're out. But I'm not going to tell you you have to, and I'm sure as heck not going to say we're going to find you if you don't. That's just not the way we should be operating. In terms of timing, I wonder if it's if, if she anticipates on Monday the governor will make an announcement where more businesses can open, maybe more people will be out and about, and maybe that's for the timing. Uh, what would you say to that argument if that is, in fact, why she's doing it now? Well, she should have talked to the governor first. She could have run it by me. I would have been happy to give her some wise counsel uh, on it. Uh, and maybe she, she should have waited till Monday because we're going to have a news conference on Monday. Why now? I don't understand. And by the way, if you're, if you're going to do it now and you're pushing it off almost a week, that also doesn't make any sense. And the exceptions don't make sense, uh, some of them. Uh, if the other thing that she said today in the press conference that concerned me was about when she's ready to reopen business. I think someone asked her the question of, well, if the governor says this and the state's doing this, uh, will you follow along? But she really didn't answer the question. The judge has to understand this. Businesses can't take many more days or weeks of being closed, Judge. They can't do it. Every day and every week that they're closed, the further they're in the hole, the tougher it is to get out. And if you want this county to rebound, please follow the state's guidelines. And when we open up things as we are, please follow us. Give the people of Harris County, all businesses, a chance to open up and a chance to hire their people back so people can go back to work. Um, you know, I've, I've been a very strong proponent, as you know, of that from day one. We can do two things, protect the vulnerable, life is precious, but let people go back to work. All the numbers that we got from the experts have all turned out to be wrong from day one. Remember, on January 26, Dr. Fauci said, this won't be a problem for America. Three weeks later, two million people are going to die, which would have been several hundred thousand Texans. And then they reduced it down to 100 to 200,000 for the whole country, and then down to 60,000. And in Texas, and again, I, I want to emphasize, every life is precious. And someone's father or mother or husband or brother or sister or son or daughter, every life is precious. But we have 29 million people in this entire state, and we've had a little over 500 people pass away. And, and, and in, in Houston and Harris County, you know, it's been over 100. But we can't lock down 5 million people. We can, we can open up Harris County for 5 million people and still protect those who need help. We have plenty of hospital beds. She didn't need the hospital and she acknowledged today. And we have good care. So we can do both. So judge, give a chance of people to get their life back. And, and don't find them because they, they're not following your orders. People like to be ordered. They got enough, that's the key here. They have enough stress on them right now. They don't need elected officials ordering them to do things. Ask people to do things. Ask people to do the smart thing. Do the safe thing. I'm asking people to wear a mask, but I'm not telling them to. I'm going to let them make their decisions, and I trust the people of Paris County. Okay, last question. You mentioned uh, people have enough stress. So do members of law enforcement, police, sheriff deputies, constable deputies. We've heard from a number of unions today expressing great concern over this order, and um, they're all for people wearing masks if they want, but they don't want to have their officers write tickets. What do you say to those, to the police officer, to the deputy that is now have, are in charge of writing these tickets? First of all, I want to thank them. I want to thank the healthcare workers. I want to thank the people who work in grocery stores. I want to thank the people who drive in trucks and making sure we have food on our tables. You know, I, I have been criticized because I said there are things more important than living. Uh, in life, and I'm talking about saving our country for our grandchildren and our children, but I want you to think about it. Those police officers, those grocery workers, those healthcare workers, they've actually made a, a, a decision in their life that they're putting their life on the line. They're putting their life on the line for other Houstonians, other Texans, and Americans across the country. And that's what I meant by that, that they decided it's more important to serve even though they're, they're at risk. So because of that, don't ask our law enforcement to go down, go around and try to enforce a law that's unenforceable and ridiculous to begin with. What, what are they going to do? I mean, are they really going to go up to someone and say, I'm going to write you a ticket when someone has an easy excuse to say, well, I have the exception because I have a health issue or, you know, or I'm claustrophobic 
it's like this. So I'm asking the people of Harris County, protect your health, protect others, wear a mask. That's my recommendation. But I'm not telling you you have to do it. I just think for a while it's a smart thing to do. But I trust the good people of Harris County to be smart, be safe, and do the right thing. I'm not going to tell them you have to do anything. Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.